dear participants, our facilitators, Madam Coordinator Monley, our media people, the organizers, secretariat. We thank you very much for making this possible. Yeah, guest of honor, we have been here for the last uh, five days for a training on lighting workshop. Basically, the workshop was meant for imparting skills on how to prepare hard codes that fits the international arena. But not only that, including other popular versions that meet the need of end users, especially farmers. But not only that, we also went further to look at the aspect of crafting the messages from our articles that could fit the policy making process, but also the planning process. Let me underscore the fact that we had an immense input from our course facilitators. Today we have only two, but we have been having a good number of the facilitators who managed to allocate part of their busy shadows to ensure that they attend and deliver the causes at the allocated time. Allow me to really give a big thank and a big clap together with the participant for that. Please. We also, from the directorate, wish to really appreciate the university management for allocating resources to make this one possible. We also underscore the fact that on the first day, the university made clear commitment to ensure sustainable kind of support to this kind of program to our young early career researchers. We envy the support and we look forward for the continued support to make this one possible. Secondly, I would like to put my thanks on behalf of other participants to the Sokoyen University of Agriculture uh, Management, as well as uh, the organizing committee, as well as uh, the postgraduate uh, research technology transfer and, 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 and consultants for setting aside a budget for conducting this particular program. For sure, we have learned a lot of issues regarding two uh, manuscript preparations and uh, we are sure what we have learned will be fruitful to our lives on the way. As you were told earlier, that uh, the participants include uh, uh, the junior researcher staffs from the Sokoni University of Agriculture, but as well as uh, postgraduate students, it is our sincere that uh, the skills that we have uh, achieved uh, throughout the training will help uh, to produce a very good manuscript, manuscript that will be publishable to international journals. Along that way, we have seen that uh, you might, as a researcher, you might uh, produce uh, very good uh, findings, but if they are not well interpreted, it's like just a dump. Therefore, what you have learned, we are sure, will help on the way to, to have a, a good results. Our take is that one, we are going to apply all the skills that we have learned, but two, we are going to finalize our manuscript as when we were, we, the program was designed in such a way that every participant should have a manuscript. We sent uh, the abstract, and now through the skills that we have obtained, we are promising that we are going to use the skills attained and uh, we are going to shape our manuscript before we send to the journals for publishing. But again, during the course, we have learned on how to prepare a policy brief. 
And therefore, we hope our findings, some of us will prepare uh, what we call uh, the policy briefs that can be shared to the authorities. But again, we have some two key requests to the management as well as to the department. One, during the course we have seen that we, we have lacked two key issues. One, there is an issue of a, a statistic course, particularly an applied statistical course. Therefore, we request the management as well as the, the department, if possible, to prepare another uh, program that will sharpen our skills. But the last one is an, an issue on a post brief. Uh, during the discussions, we came to realize that even the published work within the professors within SUA, most of them, none of the pol uh, policy review, uh, reviews, uh, reviews has been, briefs has been prepared. In this case, we would like to suggest that if you can consider uh, an inclusion of post brief as one of the aspects to be considered during the promotion among the academicians. This will enable uh, our research findings to be very impactful to our community. It was a very important cause, and to the best of my knowledge, it is the first kind, it, it is the, the first of its kind to be held at our university. It is for me, therefore, a, a privilege that I should be officiating the closing ceremony this afternoon. Closing ceremonies are always memorable events, since they signify the formal conclusion of an activity, be it a workshop, a cause, a celebration, or a sports event. I wish to congratulate you all for your participation in what I consider to be a very successful training workshop. Furthermore, I call on you to make use of the, of the new knowledge and good ideas and new skills that you have gained from this training workshop. Dear participants, this training is conducted as part of a succession plan as the university aims to maintain its excellence in research and especially in this era that we are losing some of our senior researchers and the professors through retirement at the fastest speed. You upcoming researchers must keep the candle burning by continuing to conduct high-quality research. With the light torch, I'm impressed with the massive participation, at least of the female candidates. As you were informed in the opening of this training workshop, the university management will continue to commit to financial and human resources to train our junior and early career researchers as availability of resources permit in order to continue playing an active and a leading role in quality research and innovation in the country and the entire global academic and the research community. As you are all aware, Sokoena University of Agriculture has consistently been ranking first for conducting high research, high quality research in the country. Dear participants, this day marks the, the end of the scientific writing training workshop that has been running for five days consecutively since 5th July 2021, bringing together participants from all academic departments across the university. And I'm informed we have uh, academic staff, we have also postgraduate students. I, I guess we have master's students and also PhD students. I'm informed that the training covered the crucial areas related to research, including the following. Preparation of research titles, introduction and background, 
critical review of the papers and the research and the literature search, preparation of research methodology, structure, and data analysis, both quantitative and the qualitative, interpretation of research findings and writing abstracts, selection of journal and co-authors, scientific presentation, writing of policy briefs, and communication with the community, how to engage in the media. I consider these areas of uh, which have been covered to be very critical as far as research is concerned. Because you see, I, I attended one uh, a workshop. Uh, it was a writing skills uh, workshop in Uganda. It was in 2015 at the University of Makerere. Uh, and one of the facilitators who, who, who actually discussed with us, uh, who were participants at that time, about writing an abstract. You can see as if it is simple, but it is actually difficult to write an abstract. He said, you see an abstract, it's just, it's just, it's just like a face of, of a person. Once you see the face, then you realize this is caboted, this is, you see, <laughs> this is money, and so on. It is the same for articles. If you read an article and you fail to understand or to figure out what is inside, then you need to revise your, your abstract. Similarly for other you know, contents as highlighted here. They are very, very critical. Um, the combination of topics covered gives an outlook that participants will now be able to, to carry out scientific and informed research activities that will consequently be relevant to what the society needs. As a result of this training, you are expected to undertake a critical review of the scientific papers, write a publishable scientific paper, make a scientific presentation, and publish research evidences to inform policy and decision making. You will be also reviewers, not only you know, be able to write um, a, a manuscript that is, you know, has a quality to be published in a reputable journals, but also you will be reviewers. You can also participate in reviewing other works, you know, work, um, other uh, articles for other, for other people. Dear participants, I'm happy to learn that the workshop program has accommodated the training on writing policy briefs, which is also a very, very important part with regard to sharing research output with the research, of no, not research, with the decision makers. You see, decision makers do not want to read a full length article of about 15 to 20 pages. They need just within 10, 15, 20 minutes, they grasp everything. And so writing a policy brief to share with decision makers as far as the research output is concerned is very critical in this regard. So I'm um, saying I commend the organizers for identifying able and skilled resource persons. And the good news is that all of them are successful and experienced researchers from our university. I know these facilitators have solid and extensive theoretical and the practical experience in research in Tanzania and the diverse expertise in scientific writing skills and the academic publication record is high in high impact and the respected local and international journals stand as self-sufficient evidence. I urge you to keep learning from them to fetch the expertise and experience of these research gurus. Ladies and gentlemen, the expectation of Sokoene University of Agriculture is beyond the high quality published papers and academic achievement for your career progression. Given the gained writing skills, we hope you shall be able to convert your research findings into community education materials and hence increase realization of the importance of research in contributing to increase the production and well-being of the community. Once again, I wish to express my uh, <clears throat> I wish to express my deep express ex ex appreciation to the organizers 
facilitators and participants who made this workshop a success. Let me urge all of the participants to make practical use of the knowledge gained from this uh, training. With this, these few remarks, it is now my honor to declare this scientific writing training workshop for junior Sokoene University of Agriculture researchers and the postgraduate students officially closed. Kama mtafiti atakuwa amefanya utafiti mzuri na akashindwa kufanya tafsiri nzuri ya huo utafiti wake, huwa tunasema ni kama vile haina maana yoyote. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu kama usi ukishindwa kutafsiri ina maana ujumbe uliopatikana kutokana na utafiti huo hauwezi kumfikia yule mlaji wa mwisho. Kwa mfano, tusuchulie ume, umefanya utafiti juu ya madhara ya 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 ya, ya yanao yanayoshambulia maharage na wewe ukashindwa kutafsiri vizuri madhara yale ambayo unayaona kwenye utafiti wako ili wakulima waweze kuyatumia na hatimaye waweze kukulima maharage katika uh, hali ambayo inatakikana na hatimaye kuzaliku kupata mazoea ya kutosha kwa hiyo usipo ukishindwa kufanya utafsiri, utafsiri nzuri ni, ni kama vile utafiti wako haukuwa na maana yoyote na muda wako ni kama umepoteza hiyo resource. Kwa hiyo kimsingi tunasema uh, unapofanya utafiti ni lazima yale matokeo unayoyapata uwe na uwezo mzuri wa kuyatafsiri ili mle mlaji wa mwisho aweze kutumia utafiti wako kwa ya kujaletea maendeleo kwenye shule. Kwanza nianze kwa kukipongeza chuo cha kilimo sokoine kwa kadri ambavyo wameendelea kutoa tafiti ambazo hakika ni chachu ya maendeleo katika nchi hakika ni chachu ambayo imekuwa ikiwasaidia wananchi wa chini kabisa katika kuisha kwamba wanaleta shuri, wana, 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 wana tekeleza shughuli zao kwa za kilimo ufugaji wa mifugo ulio natija katika uchumi wa kila siku Aa, kitu ambacho na, na, napenda niendelee kushauri Aa, ni kwamba uwasisite kama ambavyo umekusha kufanya Uh, hii program ya kuwezesha uh, watafiti wadogo pamoja na wanafunzi wao kupata hizi huu ujuzi ambao ni muhimu katika kuendeleza ile 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 dhana ya kuzalisha tafiti ambazo zina 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 ubora wa hali ya juu ili kwamba hata inapotokea uh, watafiti wakubwa wanastaafu ama tunatokea ya natural natural disasters kama vifo na nini basi wawepo uh, uh, watafiti wadogo ambao kwa kimsingi wanaweza wakaendesha wakaendeleza uh, ule msimamo ule msingi ambao tayari umeshawekwa na chuo tangu awali ndani ya siku zetu tano kuanzia tarehe tano hadi leo tarehe tisa mafunzo yanafungwa tumejifunza maeneo makubwa makubwa matano hususan ninapozungumzia uh, utafiti kwanza ni namna gani unatakiwa kuandaa kichwa cha habari cha tafiti yako lakini je ina vitu gani vya kuzingatia ili uweze kutengeneza uh, kuandaa utangulizi ambao hakika mtu yote akiusoma anaelewa okay huyu mtu anataka kitu gani kulingana na tatizo ambalo unatakiwa kulifanyia utafiti lakini pia tumejifunza namna ya kuandaa njia zile za kwenda kwenye utafiti tunasema methodological uh, approaches or methods ambazo kimsingi tumejifunza kitu tunaita qualitative research methods ambazo zenyewe ni kama unaenda kupokea kupata ukweli kutoka kwa, kwa watu wenyewe unaenda kuwahoji hauendi na chochote lakini unafika pale unawahoji unakuwa na maswali yako ambao sasa wale watu wanakupa ukweli wa mambo kadi yalivyo lakini pia tumejifunza njia zingine ambazo uh, mtafiti anaweza akaandaa uh, uh, tuseme dhana yake ama tunasema a tool ama instrument ambayo iko tayari iko closed mtu anafika pale anampa anajaza hatimaye anachukua anakuja lakini kingine tumejifunza ni namna gani unaweza uka, ukaandaa uka, ukafanya uh, uka, 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 uka matokeo yako na kuyapeleka kwa husika lakini pia tunajifunza unajadili vipi vitu gani vya kuzingatia ili uweze kujadili ni namna gani unaweza ukaunganisha uka, uka matokeo yako pamoja na uh, watafiti wengine walichokifanya kwa sababu tunasema kwenye utafiti katika jambo lolote kwa dunia hii ya sasa wewe sio 
wa kwanza kufanya utafiti kwenye maeneo hayo. Kwa hiyo ni lazima uhakishe kwamba unawaingaji, unawaakishe kwamba unachukua tafiti wengine wamesemaje na wewe unasemaje ili jambo liweze kwenda mbele. Lakini kingine zaidi ambacho tunajifunza ni namna ambavyo tunaweza kuunganisha tafiti tunazo matokeo ya tafiti tunazozipata na sera za nchi kwa sababu tunasema uh, ili mabadiliko yaweze kutokea kwenye jamii ni lazima aidha kuwe na sera ama sera iliyoko iweze kubadilika sasa inaweza ikabadilikaje ni kwamba lazima tafiti ambazo tunazipata matokeo tunayopata lazima yafike mahala yaweze kubadilisha policy ama yaweze kutengeneza sera nyingine ambayo kwa namna moja ama nyingine itaenda kubadilisha hali Yanji. lakini pia tuna tumejifunza jambo lingine ambalo ni muhimu sana ni namna gani sasa umepata tafiti yako umefanya tafiti yako umemaliza na kawaida unasema unapofanya tafiti ni lazima unahusisha watu kwa hiyo ni lazima uruhishe mrejesho kwa wale watu tumejifunza ni namna gani sasa ni mbinu gani ambazo tunapaswa kuzitumia ili tuhakishie kwamba tunaweza uh, kurudisha kile ambacho tumekipata kwenye tafiti zetu uh, na jamii kwa management ya sua hii na hili napenda nizungumze kwa management ya, 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 ya uh, uongozi wa tas, wa chuo lakini pamoja na taasisi zingine ambazo zina, zinafanya shughuli kama sua ikiwezekana pia na serikali kwanza kikubwa ambacho nakiona ni vema budget zikawa zinatengwa kwa ajili ya shughuli yani isiwe ni kwamba ni zoezi leo linafanyika halafu linakuja kufanyika baada ya miaka kumi ijayo hasa tukizingatia kwamba kila mwaka sio sua pekee na taasisi zingine vyo vingine vinaajiri vijana wadogo sasa kama vijana wadogo wanakuja na msingi mkubwa wa, wa mtu wa akademia ama mtaalamu ni lazima ajue kufanya utafiti sasa kama asipowezeshwa ni kwamba atashindwa ku, 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 kutoa ma, uh, utafiti ambao una matokeo ambayo ni mazuri kwa ajili ya jamii kwa hiyo cha msingi ambacho naweza kushauri ni kwamba uh, ni vema uh, taasisi utawala wa wasua serikali ikaangalia kuhakikisha kwamba inatenga budget kwenye taasisi zake lakini ikiwa ni pamoja na 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 cha mm, kwanza ambacho ni muhimu ni lazima a uh, atafute tatizo lililopo kwenye jamii ni lazima ajue tatizo gani linaikabili jamii hicho ndio hatua ya kwanza lakini baada ya hatua ya kwanza akishatambua ile tatizo ni lazima ajue okay hili tatizo nitalifanyaje utafiti wangu ni lazima akae aandae hadidu rejea ambayo itamuonyesha okay labda nikifanya hivi aweze atengeneze plani ambayo itamwezesha mpango kazi ambao utamwezesha kwenda kwenye jamii ili kuona ni ki, kiasi gani lile tatizo lina 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 lina, lina, lina athiri ile jamii lakini pia ajaribu kuangalia je yeah huko 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 kwenye literature nyingine kwenye benki ya, ya ya tafiti zingine watafiti wengine wanasemaje kwenye hilo akishajua sasa yeye atajua okay mimi nitafanya moja, mbili, tatu, nne, ili sasa niweze kufanya utafiti wangu na hatimaye kuja na matokeo ambayo yatakuwa yamehamisha ama yatatoa mbinu mbadala ambazo zitatumika katika kutatua tatizo moja, mbili, tatu, na kadhalika na